This might be one of the most controversial sneakers of the year. And I'm sure you're probably wondering why. It's just a blue and white SB. The founder of Born and Raised and collaborator of this shoe recently passed away a couple months ago. And because of that, you know what happens in the shoe game. Prices went through the roof. Everybody wanted the shoe. And because they hadn't came out yet, what does that mean? Nike had to postpone the release. So over the past few months, sneakers have been leaking through the cracks as they have gone to retailers, and we've seen this shoe going for over a thousand dollars. And you know me, I'm a size 13, it's even harder to get the shoe. Luckily, Born and Raised just announced that they're gonna be releasing the shoe, and we're not 100% sure if Nike is doing a drop yet, so stay tuned for that as well for updates. But you know me, I had to hit the homies at Untied so I could get a pair to give you guys a review. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DJ. DNA show. Hey! Now normally at this point in the video, I give you guys the history and the details of how they got to this point, but Chris Spato actually did his own behind the design with Nike, so I'm gonna run a little bit of footage from that, and then we'll take it to the studio and break down the shoe. My name is Spato, and I'm the owner, creator, and founder of Born and Raised. We grew up a very certain way, and I used to be very insecure about the way I grew up, right? Showing other kids in the neighborhood and other kids around the world that like the way you grew up is okay, it's all right. One block at a time is kind of a nod to like, we are preserving our culture one block at a time. The toe box is actually a punk reference. The whole spirit and um, idea of Venice as a whole from the era that I grew up in was like, it's, you know, it, was, it was very punk. So I wanted to use a punk reference for that. So as you can see right here, you have your standard Nike SB box. We've been getting this recently on the past releases over the year. You got the sale on the box with the gray on the Nike SB branding. Now looking at the size tag, it reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro, Quick Strike, Deep Royal, White Black. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you got your classic wood grain SB paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So first impressions of this sneaker, I was very interested by these just because I saw there was a lot of details on the shoe and after learning a little bit more about it honestly i feel like this is a great collaboration and you know on this channel we love to start with the bottom of the shoe and work our way up so let's go ahead and get into it looking at the outsole right here you have your standard sb outsole translucent right here with the royal blue and then you have a pink right here in the center area on the foam nike sb branding there then you have your born sb underneath the outsole on the right foot and on the left foot right there. Those are gonna be matching. And this is a nice little touch as well when it comes to the details. Now going to the midsole, all white with the white stitch. But actually, if you turn to the back end on the midsole right here around the heel, you have on the turf with the Nike swoosh right here. Super dope. As you've heard from the story as well, you understand why it's just on the turf, my home turf, the home field type thing. I understand the branding and the messaging on there right there. Now going to the upper, this thing is loaded with a bunch of different details, but the materials, the materials are really nice on these things. You essentially have a two-tone upper with an iridescent swoosh. So looking at the blue suede area, just feeling it right here, it feels really nice and soft. And you can see the little punk details around the holes on the top end of the shoe, but also right here around the the toe box area as well with the white tumbled leather on that area now looking at the front of the shoe right here you have one block on the right foot and then on the left foot it says at a time putting those together one block at a time which another thing that he talks about when it comes to representing his city one block at a time and i like how they added that detail as well on the tongue right here but also they switched that and they added the born sb right here on the top of the tongue matching that same tag on the outsole of the shoe now these come standard with a pair of blue laces to match the upper if you unlace the shoe right here you can see it says in loving memory now this has a lot of meanings and obviously yes after he has passed away this has added another meaning to this shoe which is something that's making this shoe even more powerful as we go through this review because you can tell just how much energy he put into his community and the people around him just by the effort that they put into this collaboration some collaborations they keep it a little bit more simple they don't have as many details all throughout the shoe but you can see there was a lot of effort that was put into this shoe literally on every aspect of this sneaker so not only do you have the standard pair of blue laces you have a pair of sail flat white laces with the in love and memory as well then you have the fat white laces and then you have the paisley pink print laces as well on here these are all super dope and honestly i feel like these could go with any of these laces the pink laces with the pink accents on the shoe i think might be a really really nice touch as well let me know which laces you guys think would look best in the comment section down below now looking behind the tongue you have a patch that says on the turf and just below that you have the born sb and the pink square and then if you flip back the little tab behind the tongue it actually says don't be a lame and honestly 
I like that. I'm glad that Nike said, you know what? We'll let you put that on the shoe because sometimes people would be lames for no reason. Now, continuing on with the inside of the shoe, you have a white leather right here all throughout the sock liner. And then you have an image on the outsole showing you guys a picture of Venice as well. And then you have the Born SB branding with the white Nike swoosh on the back of the heel. Now, speaking of the heel, this is a part that is really, really dope to me. It's giving me those old hologram vibes from back in the day growing up as a kid. But as you move the shoe, it kind of changes colors, but not only does it change colors it actually says Nike SB and then if you move it the other way it says born SB just like you see the logo on the tongue and on the outsole so adding that little touch and that little feature and the little you know what I'm saying it's just all these little things that just make this shoe super dope and I think probably make a lot of people consider this to be one of the greatest SBs of the year which we'll get in that conversation later this year but as of right now, just based off of materials, color blocking, story, and all the details, this is definitely one of the top threes in my opinion. Now looking at the side embroidered right here on the heel counter, this is a capital head that they used in Venice, and they decided to represent that as well on the shoe and added that embroidery on here. And I like how they added this to make it look like it's a part of the columns, just like you see actually when you go to Venice. So overall, let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section, and if you plan on picking these up or not. Now obviously you guys can tell I'm a fan of this sneaker and i'm looking forward to adding these to my collection shout out to my guys over at untied for helping me get these to shoot a review unfortunately i gotta send them back because they don't have my size but either way i wanted to get a review out for you guys so you guys can see some detail shots because this shoe has an amazing story and a lot of cool details and quality materials on them now my question for you guys is how do you feel about this shoe? If you were to rate it out of 10 or if it was fire or trash, I'm interested to hear that. Drop a comment down below. And if you didn't know on my Instagram, I post a poll every time asking people if they think this shoe is fire or trash. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. I asked the people a simple question and this is what they said. 91% of the people chose fire and 9% of the people chose trash. Now typically when we see results like this on a shoe, that means it's gonna be one of the top five or top 10 shoes of the year, hands down. The whenever it falls in the 90 percentile, you're talking about a shoe that everybody likes. And you know what that means. When it's a shoe that everybody likes, the price is always going crazy on these things too. Currently, these things are like seven or 800 bucks or something like that right now. We'll see what happens when the release comes if the price drops down. Let me know what you guys think is a realistic and a reasonable price when it comes to these SBs as well. I would love to hear that down below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoy this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on another one. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Plus in my DNA, hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in